Hey, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am Silver Ninja, and we are going over the game Ant Legion. A simple yet complex game with many little features. And I thought today we would go over the snail. It's a very uh, simple thing. Uh, it gives you some boost to your uh, economic or civil and your uh, war stats. So, where when do you get the ant? So, first thing we'll do is we're going to go check the queen here. And you'll see right here the the snail unlocks at just my brain. There you go. <laughs> uh, unlocks at level ten, which you can get there pretty quickly if you're a brand new nest. Um, and really, it's just a nice boost to your uh, to your army is what I I start off with because you use your army for everything uh, if you want good rewards. Oh, hold on, gotta check this. I always keep that counter going. All right. So now you got this little gift on there that comes back every um, after every reset. So let's open this up, and we'll start with the upgrade. So every time you upgrade your snail, you have a chance of increases in your attempts and reducing your cost. So I have a queen level twenty three, and the snail is one of the um, before I spend any snail points, I will always upgrade it so I can get that uh, discount. Now, if we go up here to the info button, you can see at level 10, you get a 5% discount with four interaction attempts. But if you can wait one more level, you get uh, five attempts and 5.5. Obviously, you're not gonna wait till your max level to spend. You, you need those, those resources. But let's see. And I'm currently at minus 11 to the cost and seven attempts. And it won't be till level 25 that I get more attempts, but I still want to upgrade at level 24 for that cheaper stuff. All right, beat that beat that one down. Let's go to the next, the next thing here. All right, open this up. Now you hit the snail button, and you'll notice there's a completely different level here. So level 42, in this sense, is the level of your skills. Okay, now before we get into that, let's go ahead and... Let's, su let's choose the sunbathing this time around and see what we get. So I got snail experience and leaves. Um, with sunbathing, I'll also get speeds um, and just kind of a random amount of things. I, I think that's the most the most random one. Um, we'll go. We'll try to show the re these other two uh, before we're done with this video. And right here, any snail experience you gain, be it from predator nests. Um, events, um, you can purchase them in the exchange shops. They'll show up here, but they will also show up in your bag. So if you go to treasure and you scroll down, you'll see all the civil and war points that you've received and your uh, snail experience. So you can use it here or you can use it here. Now I'm not ever in a big rush to use the snail experience unless I'm really close to upgrading it. So it's not something I, I bother to hit that button if I've got a lot going on. Discount box. Let's hit the buy now and see where that takes us. So under the snail option, you can obviously buy snail experience. Uh, and it comes with diamonds and other things as well. And let's see if there's any under these dailies here. Nope. So that's just a, if you want to buy in, that's where you can go for that. Now... Let's get into this. So the upgrading your level. Now, all these unlocked at different levels. I can't show you that now, but you can see that when you um, open up your snail. It'll, each one will tell you. So like army attack, so level 45 required. Army damage bonus, level 60 required. Okay. So there's a benefit to having your experience go up. And then you can um, upgrade well all your basic stats, right? Let's see. I have nothing I want to upgrade currently. I'm trying to save up for another army scale upgrade. and But I need uh, a lot for that. I'm about, a, I'm about halfway there. So, and... Boop, boop, boop. Scale level. I just upgraded the load. And maybe I'll upgrade the march speed this time around. I personally like to, I mean, I've done a lot on all of them. Uh, 
I just increased my water collection so during the collection event, which is going, currently going on, I can get all the water I need for all my upgrades. Uh, you need a lot of water when you get to higher nests, so focus on, on getting your water collection at some point. All right, so the next thing we're gonna go over is you get a snail reset. So I'm gonna reset something here just so I can show that to you. And I don't really, uh, I can, I'll lose a little bit on my food collection because I don't go collecting for food often. I get too many cash cards from everything else. So here's the reset. Now if you wanna see how many you have, now it does say I own four, but you can also check again in the bag, which is pretty much where you can find anything. And it's located right underneath your snail, snail stuff, and I have four of them, okay? You get them in events, I'm pretty sure you can purchase them as well. Oh, I get all these helps done. So let's go ahead and reset the skill just so we can see that in action. And then we got only a minute left for that. So for now, I'm gonna reset the food collection. So I have four of these, but it only works on one resource at a time. And then I get all those um, points back and I could just upgrade it again or move it to something else. So I don't really need that. I think I'm just gonna save the points. So I can either upgrade uh, this, this, or training speed. Something that I find very, that I use daily. Um, I did that, you notice I did that here. I reset the mover stats, uh, both the attack and the HP are now at level one because I reset them and put them into um, the army scale uh, last time around because I was really close to that. Next uh, army scale after that, I'll start upgrading some of these again. All right, let's see. And now where can you get, let's go over that, right? Where can you get military and civil skills? As you can see, I have a lot of war points and a lot of snail points. Now, um, I'm not gonna use them right now uh, because I save them. I'm comfortable with their current levels that I save them until a uh, snail point event comes around. Uh, now we just had two back to back, but typically it'll be about three weeks before the next snail point event comes around where you get points for getting civil and war points. Okay, It's also why I save these. I don't spend these boxes because you're guaranteed civil and snail or uh, civil points in this one. And so I get all those civil points and then go in to give me rewards from the event. Make sense? So let's go look where you can actually um, buy these. And another shortcut too. You can look right here in the four-leaf clover and it tells you when it's ready to interact. Let's do. Let's feed it this time around. A bunch of leaves will fall down, and you get snail experience. Now, uh, that's mostly what you get. Now, I've gotten a couple other things, but pretty much you just get the snail experience. So when I had a low level snail, I I only hit the feed button because I just wanted to upgrade it. I think it was to level thirty one. So I only did the snail experience until I reached that level, so I can get a specific thing unlocked. Now I only do the water. Um, let's go ahead and use these because why not um, I, now I do only the water because I want the war and civil points and I'll show you that here next but first we're going to go see where we can purchase these things from now there is one in the arena and I believe it's under the specialized duel so again, every time I reach the screen in my videos, always, always, always buy this daily surprise box. It doesn't give you an exclamation point. You only get one a day. So you want to purchase those and you get anywhere from 18 to almost 29,000 diamonds. Most I've gotten is 888 in one box and I'm currently saving them uh, so I can do them all at once for a video, for a fun little video. So you can buy snail experience here if you want to use your points for that and uh, civil points and war points if you wanna buy them for that. So now I won't buy them here unless there's a 
um, until that snail event comes. Same thing with Mark of Honor. I just save my points, either unless I'm really, really tight on a resource, or more specifically, there's uh, an event that'll give me points for Mark of Honor or snail in this particular exchange shop. All right, let's go see. Where else, where else can we find those? So you can go to the mantis shop, which is, you can come down here to buy your fungus and there's a mantis cave there or the shortcut by tapping on this. I'm not actually looking to battle. Hit the exchange button and you can see all my points there. And oh, my, my eye rolled right past it. Uh, I can buy snail experience, snail civil points. Oh, look, and you can even get commander experience if you want that here. Um, so if you want to, you know, increase your water collection or your march speed or things like that, you can come here and buy those. Um, I won't do it until, you know, right now I'm going to focus on my carpenter shards, but not until the shard event comes up. So there's another shop. All right, we'll go to the cavern next. And here's another spot where you can buy experience points and snail points. So you can see, you can upgrade your snail and its stuff pretty much if that's a focus you want, you can get these points, what is that, three three exchange shops now? So there's a you can get real high in that real fast if you just spend all of your points on that. All right, so the other place that you get them, and I already kind of showed you that in a different way, is your predator nests, okay? Now, and that's pretty much because you get them out of these boxes. So the more predator nests you get, the more snail and uh, civil point and snail experience that you get. And they also come in other events. I haven't looked this time around. Let's see if there's any of these current events will give you snail. So this one here, Yep, so there's some level 6 snail experience. So you notice just in that event alone. Hand quiz, not typically. Let's see, any in here? Nope, so really you can just look and see which ones I'll give them to you. I know that one doesn't. Upcoming events, food tussle does not. So... And then you'll get other random breakthrough events where snail points, snail points will be something that you'll receive. When the snail event, um, the snail uh, reward event comes around, usually found in regular events, it's usually like a breakthrough event or the global ace event. One of these might actually be a snail resource or a snail point one. Uh, one through after the first one, I got five more to try. Um, at that point. Um, you'll notice in the um, buy boxes are always focused on whatever the whatever the current um, event is, is typically there. So right now it's hatching eggs. So you notice I get three eggs, right? So that's, that's kind of all there is for the snail. Let's go back up and look. I believe we have one more thing to look at. We can get the water done. And war and double the war points. Now I'll get war points. I'll get civil points. Sometimes I'll get double civil points, and that's what I'm, my focus is right now. Um, if you're happy where your snail is, you don't care to to increase its experience or increase its uh, the war points and stuff you use. You might as well get other random free stuff: uh, five minute speed, um, food, and things like that from the sunbathing. And here's where my bonuses currently are. Yeah, sixteen thousand my army scale. So, if you have any other questions or you think I've missed anything, as usual, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, and I will try my best to answer it. Um, if I do discover I've missed anything, I add that to the description at uh, some point. Um, other than that, um, have a great day. Thanks for watching. And remember, it's all for fun.